discovery of some human remains here, actually uh, close to us in Florida. You don't say. Um, do you guys ever hear of the Hog Trail murders? No. No, but it no. sounds awful. Oh, get it together. So, <clears throat> this is actually the tale of two cases. Uh, one was resolved, and the man is currently serving uh, his prison sentence in Florida, in uh, Ryford, Florida. Really? Okay. At the Union Correctional Institution. Uh, but uh, what, what sort of sparked me onto this story was um, in 2007, in March. Um, that recent? Yeah. 2007, in March, eight skulls and skeletal remains were found in an area uh, surrounding Fort Myers. Oh, um, wow. This is the largest such discovery of uh, unidentified human remains in Florida's history. What was the year again? I'm sorry. March 23rd, 2007. Man. Uh, so pretty guy. recent. They initially uh, attributed the, the corpses to a... Uh, a recently closed down funeral home, which it sparks what? its no. own weird, horrifying story by itself, right? Like, you mean like, like we, we exactly. got all these bodies, we got all these bodies. Like, we, uh, yeah. it's, Fort Myers is like, no, he gives a Come shit on about down that, right? to <laughs> discount rich funeral home, we got all these bodies for sale, we got, get, we got no room. I'm crazy, I'm crazy, half off. And, you know, eight people, that's a lot, that's a lot of people to yeah. be sort of just deposited somewhere in a field in, in Fort Myers. It's all in the same field? Uh, correct. Uh, within one acre of each other. Really? Uh, yeah. What? And uh, they also, um, the the police were able to identify that, uh, similar to what I assume is Mr. Peppershire here, uh, that the bodies were not buried. And there was no attempt to bury them. What the, what did cover them was just uh, leaf fall and, and just sort of... Uh, the weathering literally the like they were just thrown into a field and then the weather covered it up if it rained that is unceremoniously awful. dumped in a, in a field somewhere right so obviously this is this is terrible so this to me screams homicide and it also screams less respect than a pauper's grave right. at least with the pauper's grave you get a little tombstone that says you know five seven you mean like a height no no, <laughs> oh, no, no okay no. all right all right yeah just some kind of like <laughs> five seven nah, about yeah, 180 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some kind of innocuous <laughs> burial ground. This is uh, so a gruesome discovery. It's actually discovered by a uh, inspector who was doing some uh, land development inspection, and he thought he saw uh, human remains, and he contacted the police immediately. They showed up and, and confirmed, yeah, this is not only one person, but eight people. So um, a wow. gruesome discovery in 2007. <laughs> in 1994... A similar discovery was made in Punta Gorda, Florida. A body that had been uh, outside for around a month um, was discovered oh, se- God. severely mutilated with rope burns and the genitalia removed and, and discarded. Oh, my God. What? Um, so this is a, you know, clearly like. It was a, a, uh, did they know if it was a man or a woman? It was a man. Okay. It was a man. So a, uh, and was the first victim a man or a woman? First victim was a man. All victims were women. Really? Oh, oh, interesting. It was a theme. In 1996, uh, a Northport, which is uh, a city in, in the area, um, a Northport family's dog uh, returned from the backyard with a human skull. Oh! oh. Bad dog! Bad dog! Yeah, that's it's sort of insane. Schmutzy type qualities oh. to it. Mm. Uh, so the police were contacted. The police found the, the rest of the remains in addition to uh, missing genitalia and uh, the, a corpse that had similar uh, rope burn, burn injuries to it. Over the next four years, uh, four more mutilated corpses were found, all, um, all male and all had been subjected to severe torture. Some were raped. Um, Jesus, and, wow. and this was uh, essentially a homegrown serial killing. This was uh, the, the man was targeting um, homosexual couples or people that he thought to be homosexual oh. men. And was. So, it, so today's uh, definition of a hate crime. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wow. exactly. To, to an extreme degree. 12 or 13 bodies, all homosexual men. The initial four bodies uh, were actually charged to uh, the killer, Mm -hmm. a man named Daniel Conahan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Daniel Conahan, the the way they actually found out was one of the victims uh, escaped. Uh, He attempted to abduct a man near um, Fort Myers, Florida, and... uh, 
the man was found with injuries uh, that yeah. were similar to the killings, and oh he was able to correctly identify <gasps> uh, Daniel Conahan. Really, the police were able to subpoena credit card receipts and and things like that, and basically track him down and and pin him to these four murders. Oh wow, that's actually like similar to one of the earlier Dahmer cases, where one of his like yes. homosexual lovers escaped. Went to the cops pretty much on the street corner and was right. like, this guy's trying to kill me. When the, the cops walked the dude back to the apartment. Right. And when Jeffrey Dahmer opened up the door, he was like, oh, how'd you get out? Like, <gasps> with a wink. And was like, we're just doing this, like, sex game. Well, he had his skull fractured. And a part of his skull was missing. Well, oh yeah, well like uh, really ridiculous. Well, Dahmer shit. was known for he would drill into people's heads and pour in ass and try and make these like lover zombies. Yep. That was yeah, well, oh, it's absolutely so horrible. Disturbing. But that's I mean, ugh, ugh. so again through through the diligent police work of the Florida Police Department. Um, I did that very man daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like it. I don't yeah. like it. I feel it's like comforting. it's seeping no, no, no. into me. Come on, we need some sort of man daddy presence. <laughs> Prior to the man actually being charged, the media got a hold of the story and uh, dubbed the the killings the Hog Trail killings, uh, which is, I guess, the the term for that that area of of Florida. Okay, gotcha. I was Um, like, that's a very weird and random murder. But if it makes sense geographically, I guess that's fine. What's actually interesting is the man who escaped and got away was brought the police back to a place within one mile of the eight other bodies that were found in 2007. In that acre lot. No. Correct. Oh my God. David Conahan is never officially charged with those eight murders. What? But there is uh, heavy speculation that, that he's involved. Uh, the the injuries are very similar. Basically, the public consensus is that, that this is uh, he is also responsible for these murders, but he hasn't officially been charged yet. Uh, he's currently serving out his sentence uh, to life in, uh, like I said, Ryford, Ryford, Florida. For those for, other for the, four murders, For the original right? murders in the 90s. Yeah. And did he actually confess to those, or he, he said that he was not guilty and they were still found guilty? Yeah, I think he stuck to his I'm not guilty story the whole time, uh, but they, they, they got him. Was this like uh, some kind of crime of passion? I So, I mean, obviously there was uh, some type of repressed uh you know feelings there this this guy targeted homosexual men and then you know uh, the the man who got away was actually propositioned by him uh and and in an attempt to lure him to to the uh to the to, i guess the killing area it's this is just clearly someone who is beyond insane and and acted out in in a way that you know was was he posing as a friend of the night I don't think so. No, this, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Looking at this guy, there's no way How he, he dare got away you with say that. that to me. Yeah, this guy Have looks like ever. someone's creepy uncle. Definitely not getting like any gigolo okay. action on the side. No, he was also uh, an LPN, a licensed practice nurse. Really, oh, really. Yeah. So he knew what he was doing. I'm saying in regards to like you're saying these people were tortured. Correct. Right. Yeah, and there was like pretty specific like mutilation right. techniques he, that human were, anatomy right. specific things. Yeah. Although I mean I've met LPNs. I don't know that they can necessarily perform any like surgery or whatever. They're like pretty no, no, no. But uh, you you have a but a, a you know enough of knowledge the, of physiology. For sure. Yes, correct. For sure. Disagree. Um, so yeah, he was linked to uh, at this point over a dozen murders in the uh, in the South Florida, Central Florida region. Uh, Whoa! Gosh, that really disturbing. Is, uh, that was too recent. That's too recent. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. yeah for sure. Yep. 